See, it depends because different people with this different type of condition, their enzymes are different. Now, me personally, I feel as though you can't go wrong with most fruits when you have this type of condition, but let's break it down a little bit further. So to the core of it, it's a gluten sensitive disease. Now, we shouldn't really be eating gluten to, be, to depend with, but certain people have a whole lot weaker of a tolerance than most. But to be more specific, this disturbs y'all small intestines. And what's going on in the small intestines is the body cannot absorb nutrients properly. So prime example, let's 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 talk about a kid that has it right, like a whole bunch of wheat, barley, rye, ooh, or even oats. That makes it worse. And then as you get older, even from that age, but really as you get older, then you start noticing like a sensitivity to pasta and like an intense sensitivity. What we have to realize is a change in the mucosis membrane within the intestines that throws off the enzymes. And to be quite exact, it turns into an enzyme deficiency. That's when we see the diarrhea, the abdominal swelling, the pain. Some people get chronic constipation and don't even get me started on irritability. I am I never had this disease exactly, but I did have a IBS growing up. And bruh, I'm talking about torture. It got worse. It, it was it was its worse coming out of college for me. So for somebody like you, you need to start drinking raw carrot juice. Now, here's another uncommon trick that we have down here in the South that works every time. You can get your banana or plantain. And I want you to mash it, but you mash it with slippery elm. And if you want to, you can add some uh, some nut milk with that and watch how that helps your stomach. But I would still place the raw carrot juice on a day to day basis over that. Now, one more thing you need to add is alfalfa tea. That's something that's going to be very, very, very beneficial to your stomach. Now, I will say being as though this major condition um, typically, uh, what's the word, disrupts the absorption of nutrients within the stomach, especially the small intestines, go get some blood work done. See what minerals that you're deficient in and focus on foods, uh, honestly fasting, but really focus on foods that's predominant in those minerals and vitamins. You shouldn't be drinking water the same way. You shouldn't be eating the same way. You definitely should be exercising. You need to make sure that you're doing everything within your power to stay properly hydrated, which brings me to something that will really help you out. Proverbs 4 and 26 say, give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all of your ways. This means that you have to be consistent. This means that now that you know better, you must do better and further seek more information for your condition and things that you can do to not only alleviate it, but help it and make it better. So everybody that's in agreement, I want you guys to put amen in the comment section. So we're going to come together in agreement for their healing. But as usual, hope this helped you out. God bless, friend. Have a good one.